in your life there's three things you don't talk about race religion politics politics i don't know if you guys noticed already but i'm gonna give you guys a little exclusive scoop so last night donald trump became the president of the united states of america that's a sentence i thought i would never have to say out of my mouth in any serious fashion i can't vote I'm 17, but I'm not gonna shy away from the fact I'm not like embarrassed to say that because there's a good percentage of America that wanted that to happen. If I could vote, it would have been Hillary Clinton. And it has nothing to do with the fact that I actually like Hillary Clinton. I'm not a fan of her at all. But you know who I'm not a fan of? Donald Trump. I mean, Celebrity Apprentice was kind of fun to watch. But I mean, in general, I'm not a fan of the dude. But at the end of the day, if you're a team Hillary, you're team Trump, at the end of the day, next four years, if you like him, if you don't like him, you just got to deal with it. And I'm okay with that. Time to move on with my life. And apparently this is like a wrestling channel. Triple H, Red Hart, Jeff Hardy. Yeah, this is a wrestling channel. Along with every other person on Twitter, everybody tweeting about Donald Trump being president. If you like him or you don't like him, a lot of people are talking. But for us wrestling fans out there, there's some WWE superstars that are talking about Donald Trump too. I'm not gonna go into detail if I think they're pro-Trump or against Trump because that's too controversial. I'm just not gonna talk about that. And I don't have another transitional sentence, so let's just get started. Starting off with Linda McMahon. To be honest, uh, she looks exactly like Hillary Clinton. What a night. Thrilled to congratulate my friend, President-elected Donald Trump on his hard-fought campaign and victory at Real Donald Trump. WWE Raw commentator Corey Graves said, if you like it, great. If you don't like it, make the best of it. And you'll get to try again in four years. We still have a great country. Hashtag PMA. Once upon a time I was on welfare and I worked my off to get where I'm at. No president helped me. You're no different. Hashtag PMA. WWE Raw Tag Team Champion Kobe Kingston said, Welp, here we go. Former Raw Women's Champion Sasha Banks said, Welp, a bunch of emojis. And she also said, Jesus, take the lead. SmackDown Live commentator JBL said, Hey America, either candidate was going to be controversial. I vote for Bloomberg, but can we all just get along and stop name calling? Xavier Woods, he just put an emoji. Bubba Ray Dugley said, Many people asking, how did the media get this so wrong? Because they've been lying to you every step of the way. Beth Copeland, aka Beth Phoenix, I believe in love and respect. I believe in fairness, equality, and humanity above all. That is what I'll teach my daughters. Good night. Sami Zayn said, Horrible nightmare last night. It was so weird. I was in Germany, but the US was Germany now. But it was like 80 years ago. So weird. Scary. That's probably like a very good combination of Trump supporters and Hillary supporters. But it all comes down to the fact of, it is what it is, guys. If you like him, that's great. You got what you wanted. He won. If you don't like him, deal with it. It's harsh, but it's true. But this election ending is actually making America great again. Because for the past year, we've been arguing, we've been fighting, we've been tweeting and calling each other Harambe, like Jesus Christ. But when it comes down to it, guys, we're all one people, Democrat, Republican, red, blue, we're all purple, all right? And maybe Donald Trump being president will be a good thing, and maybe it might just be really bad. We all just don't know, because, well, Obama's still in charge. Just remember that. Got a couple months left. But at the end of the day, guys, if you're mad at someone because they support Trump, or you're mad at someone because they support Hillary, or you're mad at someone because they support Gary Johnson or Jill Stein. And that was the point. YouTube did this entire thing was hashtag vote in real life, IRL, and it didn't happen. Everyone wants to vote on Twitter, but if you were based off Twitter, Hillary would be in the White House. I live down the street from Donald Trump. When I go to the gym, I'm walking past the White House. I can get a lift in with Obama right now. The election's over. That's the part we should be happy about. America's great again because this is over. If you're black, white, Hispanic, or Asian, the election is over. We are just one nation. Why it is on your side. Ha ha ha. That's some end of the video right there. Thank you guys for watching. If you really enjoyed, like, comment, share, and always subscribe. And you already know the rest. We out here. Hit the camera.